Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on my vanilla Minecraft server. And today, I have plans for today, but first off I thought I would show you this. I've updated the board a bit and got more ideas on stuff to do. As well as, uh, I grab an axe here. We can remove a few things here at this point. Uh, we've brought villagers in. Technically, I'm going to remove this, and then I'm going to put it back into the different title on it. But, uh, exterior for guardian farm. Because we do still need an uh, exterior for it, but it's it's functional currently. Uh, let's see. I added that to this list. I was thinking, I don't actually have a spawn house of any kind. Uh, exploring the end. Uh, decorate the Iron Titan. That's been on my to-do list. I just haven't done it for a while. Or even worked on the ideas for it. I was thinking about doing some sort of an ice palace. And, of course, I had an idea a while ago for an arena. I just never put it on the board. I've got that marked out. And then I'm work I was thinking we could uh, work on a villager sorter today. Anyways, uh, I've got a new shovel now. This is... Uh, Special shovel. I got it through trading with villagers. Got books. Put the books I wanted on it. And so now we're good to go. And I don't think we have enough redstone stuff to do what I was planning on doing. So let's go grab some more stuff. Yay. Well, well prepared today yourself. Say, excellent job there. So if you've managed to forget stuff, I didn't take long. Uh, stick of that. We shouldn't need any comparators, but we're going to need that. I think I'll go ahead and grab the buttons and some extra levers. I, I don't think we're going to need any pistons. I don't know. We'll see. And of course, the old standby iron. Lots and lots of iron. Unfortunately, because of the changes to 1.11, stickage is getting to be hard to come by. However, the one that's been consistent and easy throughout all my time in Minecraft has been chicken. Although, somewhere between 1.8 and 1.9, they made it so you get four times as much feathers as you do chicken, but you still get a lot of chicken. And go out to where we're going to work and then have a quick nap, because, well, after we're down there, it's not going to matter, but, you know, just set our spawn close by. Downside of being large biomes is everything is spread out so far apart. Well, that and not having any elytros yet. Because nobody's been to the end yet. But I'm thinking that we might end up doing that because we do need to put mending on some more stuff and we need XP for that. And the skeleton farm isn't going to cut it anymore. It's just not cutting it. Of course, you can see I've done a little bit of work between episodes, uh, preparing for the new phase of our villager breeder over here. At the moment, I've got it all stopped up. There we go. Have a quick little nap. Um, 
serves you right. Uh, before we go down there, but yeah, you can see I've got it. It stopped up, and right now they can only go over to here. Fortunately, this is far enough away to where when I'm in my base normally, that it's not loaded. So yeah, it's getting a little crazy here. I have figured out that with the setup I usually have this arranged as, uh, the babies always, always end up in the water. That's why I've got stuffed up so they can breed up a bit before we move on to the next phase. But I've started doing some work down here. I don't have everything finalized, but uh, this tunnel will take them, once the track is in, it'll take them all the way to inside the castle wall. And there's going to be another tunnel probably over here or so that'll take them over to the outside the village. And then to the outside village. And then I, I'm not, I've got it credited in my test world as Unary Bit who came up with this design for retrieving the villagers, but I'm not. 100% sure that's who actually did it. I don't know. I know I'm knowing. But I was thinking we could have a little control panel like right about here. Clear out a little bit more space here so that we're not banging our head on the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So first thing I thought we could hook up would be our button to retrieve villagers. Yeah, we might as well clear out a little bit above and give ourselves a little bit of headroom here. Alright, let's see. Yes, yes we did. A repeater there, and run some redstone along here. That does stretch the cart. Good. And then I was thinking for our selector system, we would use a liver liver. Where am I going with that? I don't need it to be that low yet. Uh, this is going to be a little tighter than I thought it would. Maybe we do need to go down too. Because we need to have the torch there and then the uh, bricks are running into the block using a repeater to force it off when you turn the lever one moment please I got to turn heat back down it's that time of year where you fight hard with your internal body temperatures thermostat because you raise the temperature 0 0.00005 degrees. Sweat to death, drip, 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 drops by the same equivalent. Freeze to death. Because, as we all know, everybody loves doing that. Yeah, that's not the power of that, is it? And, let's see. Look there. Yeah, I guess it would. Oh yeah, I'd probably just power it from there. Huh, what am I doing? And I have no way to get out of here. Perfect. And it's not powering that, which is good. Alright. So that'll be for the rail that selects where they go. Yeah, I didn't have a set size in mind for this. Actually, that works kind of nicely because I could send it off almost straight that way. Let's go grab some rails and see how this is going to work. Oh, 
we're going to need that. We're eventually going to need some of those. Obviously, we don't have enough supplies here to be able to complete the project, but that's okay. Alright, goes there. So good. All right, another power of that. And then I had an idea for a third button, but I don't remember what it was for. Obviously, we need a slab jibby to go there, so we don't cut off the red so. Do we have any slabs up here? You know what would be really nice to be a, an iron half slab or an iron block slab. So. We do have slabs. But the other thing too is that hopefully this will be far enough away to where. Yeah, that's the worst. Uh, this should be far enough away to where when they breed, they should breed infinitely and just throw this up to the cap. Uh, let's shave this wall off again. Because there was one other thing I was going to do here. And that is put in a minecart system to basically double. What do I mean, double chests either? I am so well prepared here. No chests and no way to getting any. Great. Why well, aren't you just the most well prepared person on earth here? <sighs> yeah. Well, let's go get some chests and stuff and uh, resupply here, I guess. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in an episode or not, but I took a backup of this world, and it's the first time I've ever actually loaded it into MC Edit. And I went and did a chunk analysis, and the total area occupied by all of this, plus some leeway around the edges because it only does squares, well, actually rectangles, uh, is 870 chunks, and that works out to something like 480 blocks by 490 blocks. Uh, or about 222,000 square meters. And I was thinking about that, and that's actually larger than a lot of shopping malls. <laughs> I was originally thinking, yeah, well, it's bigger than any of the regular uh, stores where you get everything at, like Walmart or Meyer or something like that. No, it's actually bigger than a lot of shopping malls. The dogs are for another thing coming up. I don't think we're going to get to that other thing today due to time, but we'll see. It, it looks nice. I really enjoy having everything be where it is, but it's just such a long trip. Hoppers. We've got an acute shortage of hoppers, too. Gee. Some chests. Mm. Yeah, we got iron there. Let's take some wood instead. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think we got everything we need. And uh, the tools go in the ender chest. Hmm. 
Yay, time for another nap. I am kind of excited for the 1.11.1 update. Because I'll finally have a use for all that gunpowder. At the witch farm, I've got a bunch of stuff that's just piling up. And one of them is gunpowder. I don't do TNT. I'm not much of blowing things up. I prefer building things to blowing them up. And also I I've used a lot of the sticks and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, the other thing is I don't really brew potions. So making splash potions, while it is a legitimate use of gunpowder, I don't do that either. And in 1.11, if you have an Eltra, you can use your rocket to boost yourself. I think that that is their response to the punch tubo, because they never really intended for you to do that. It's one of those things where it's not really a bug, but it's not technically a feature either. It's just something that you can do that was not really originally intended. Some hot bears. Get out the hot bear. Eh, I shouldn't need more than one. Uh, I, I seem to have misplaced some torches here. All right, I think we'll go ahead and fill the chest up with the hot uh, with the uh, with mine carts. And then I think we'll wrap the episode up there. I don't think. That, nope, not that. Yeah, for school, that's what excellent. In any event, I shall be working on this in between episodes, and if you enjoyed the episode, do be sure you hit that like button, and if you really enjoyed it, you can subscribe by clicking the little image of my Minecraft guy's face that's on the screen, and you can also check out a couple of other videos that I've done, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.